Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. The beast system race classifier has many people confused. There is the one drop rule and many other rules made by man to classify a person based on their appearance and birthplace. We all should know the Most High does nothing according to appearance. The scriptures inform us that men rely on the outward appearance while the Most High look at the heart. But the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. The kingdom of darkness beast system use race, skin color, and place of birth to determine a person's race. If any Israelite rely on the beast system to identify a person, then you will live in error. Race is the kingdom of darkness way of imitating the Most High's bloodline system. Every single bloodline that is known today came from one family. The Most High preserved Noah and his family to repopulate the earth after the flood. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah. And of them was the whole earth overspread. From the one family came the different bloodlines we read about in the scriptures. Every person that is alive today comes from one of those bloodlines the scriptures reveal to us in the Bible, including the seed of the sons of God, the fallen angels that has infiltrated the Most High's creation to produce the hybrids. The synagogue of Satan spent a great amount of resources and time to convince the world that those ancient bloodlines do not exist. At the same time, they promote certain indigenous bloodlines that support their agenda to control the people. If the indigenous people the Bible speak of do not exist, why does the world recognize the converts as the descendants of the ancient Israelites? If the indigenous people's bloodline do not exist anymore, why is there a great debate about Mizraim descendants today? In order for the indigenous people's descendants to be here, the ancient bloodline must still exist in order for the people to proclaim to be descendants of Mizraim and other biblical bloodlines. If the indigenous people's seeds were genocide, then this generation of humans would not exist. We cannot fight about certain biblical bloodlines, then turn around and declare these bloodlines do not exist anymore. We have to open our eyes. We can no longer rely on the beast system for information. We have to ask the Most High for wisdom and understanding. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. If everyone can comprehend that the Most High deals with bloodlines only, the world would have a better understanding of the origins of the different bloodlines living today. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness want you to focus on race, birthplace, and appearance because these attributes deal with the flesh. Remember, anything that has to do with the flesh comes from Satan. It is important not to operate in the flesh. The flesh has nothing in common with the spirit. The Most High only operates in the spirit. The scriptures inform us that the Most High want his people to worship him in the spirit and in truth. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. 
anyone who operates in the flesh, the most high is not with them. I do not care how religious or righteous the person appear to be. Remember, the most high do not look at appearance. You can look the part and your spirit is wicked and belong to the kingdom of darkness. Many Israelites are being deceived by the Hebrew Israelites who look the part. Religion is a prime example of wicked people disguising themselves as righteous people and leaders. Religion is home to high level workers of iniquity. Satan's seat is at the house of the head leaders to the synagogue of Satan, the mother harlot. We all know who the mother harlot is. Her daughters have an altar disguised as churches in every nation. The scriptures inform us that Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. His ministers, yes, Satan has ministers, disciples and followers. His ministers disguise themselves as angels of light as well. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. The beast system welcomes all who operate in the flesh. The beast system deals with the flesh only. Those of us who operate in the spirit is rejected by the beast system. Israelites, I strongly urge you not to be moved by a person's appearance. The scriptures inform us that Satan planted tares among the wheat and went his way. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom but the tares of the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. The wheats are the people of the Most High. The tares have an opposite appearance to the Most High's creation. In order for Satan to blend his seed into a dark population, race was invented. The kingdom of darkness do not want you to understand the Most High's bloodline system. Satan created race to disregard bloodline and to bring forth confusion. The scriptures clearly state the Most High is not the author of confusion. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. I want to make it clear. The Most High used bloodline to identify his creation. The kingdom of darkness used race to identify the people today. Birthplace and skin color determines a person's race in the beast system. The people who are mind controlled by the beast system often say they do not see color and color do not matter. Race is based on your skin color and appearance. A person's race is named after a color, black, white, brown, and yellow. How can you say you do not see color then accept a system that identify a person solely on appearance? Saying I do not see color is a way to deflect and to shift the focus elsewhere. In addition to devalue the people whose identity was kept a secret, also influenced the Israelites to give away their heritage by not seeing the benefits of their culture. The kingdom of darkness do not want the people to meditate on the origins of race. As minor as race may seem to some, understanding how the kingdom of darkness used race to deceive the whole world is detrimental to the synagogue of Satan. There would be a great shift taking place the heathens love their position. They are not willing to let it go. They will support anything that will keep them in control. The reason the Most High used bloodline to identify his creation, the Most High's original creation is dark. Not only is the original people dark, they come from one family. We often read in the scriptures how the Israelite, a Shemitic people, are often mistaken for the descendants of Mizraim, a Hamitic people. The Shemitic people and the Hamitic people are of two different bloodlines. Although the Hamitic people and the Shemitic people are of two different bloodlines, they are related. The founding fathers of these bloodlines are brothers. Everyone look alike in the Most High's creation. The Most High felt the best way to identify his creation was to identify the nations by their father's name. The genealogies in the scriptures are often stated by the father's name. Appearance cannot work due to the people being closely related. For example, in my family, there are no interracial marriages. Everyone is so-called black. 
We have different shades of brown in my family. My cousins and I resemble each other. The reason for the resemblance, our fathers are brothers. Likewise, the Shemitic Israelites are mistaken for Hemetic Cushites or Mizraim because Shem and Ham are brothers. Bloodline is the superior way to identify a person because the people share the same blood. The scripture said the life of all flesh is in the blood. For it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh, for the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. In this present society, when a woman gets married, she takes her husband's name. Their offspring would be called by their father's name. The beast system kept some elements of the most high statutes. However, the kingdom of darkness included skin color, place of birth, and common features into the equation. By adding these features, the descendants of the hybrids can easily blend in. In this present society, the original people are helping the kingdom of darkness genocide their bloodline. In the mainstream media, biracial people is the new black. The original woman and man is being pushed out. The indigenous people are helping their enemies to inherit the earth. In the awakening, we have Israelites that are helping the heathens destroy the Israelite heritage. The doctrines of devils being pushed in the Israelite community to include the descendants of the hybrids is toxic to our culture and further the Israelite sins. In order for the kingdom of darkness to infiltrate the awakening to plant doctrines of devils, there have to be willing participants within. These individuals allow the kingdom of darkness to use them to destroy their community and themselves. If they truly understood the magnitude to their behavior, they would never promote the doctrines of devils. They would shift their focus to repentance and building a personal relationship with the Most High. Because the doctrines of devils are pleasing to the flesh, they accept and promote the doctrines of devils despite of the consequences of misleading the people of the Most High. For several years, I have seen the circulation of the 12 tribes of Israel chart. From the first time I have seen this chart, my spirit could not accept this chart. The chart did not make sense. In addition, there are multiple variations of this chart. To me, the chart was similar to the heathens' 12 tribe chart. Instead of a chart with white tribes, the Hebrew Israelite chart depict black, Hispanic, and native Indians as their 12 tribes of Israel. When you have a double portion of the spirit of wisdom and the Holy Spirit to open your understanding, the things we have fallen for as a people leaves me bewildered. This is the outcome to a people whose history is taught to them by their enemies. Israelites, the 12 tribe chart is false. Matter of fact, all charts depicting who and where the 12 tribes are today are false. Do not accept the chart. Do not pass along doctrines taught to you by the disciples of Satan promoting the charts. The easiest way to explain that all 12 tribes are black, black people are the only groups of people living in tribes today. This explanation would be too vague and it would go over too many people's heads. It was important to inform you how the Most High identify his people. It is important to reveal to you that race was invented to help Satan blend the tares he planted all over the world with the indigenous population. The founding father to the Israelite nation is Jacob. The Most High changed his name to Israel. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. Israel descendants are known as Israelites. The matriarch to the twelve tribes of Israel are Leah, Rachel, Bilhah, and Zilpha. The scriptures inform us that Abraham seek to find a wife for his son Isaac from his relatives. And Abraham said unto his eldest servant of his house, that ruled over all that he had, Put, I pray thee, thy hand under my thigh, and I will make thee swear by the Lord, the God of heaven, and the God of the earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell, but thou shalt go unto my country, and to my kindred, 
and take a wife unto my son Isaac. The wife the Most High chose for Isaac was Abraham's niece, Rebekah. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. Abraham, who is a black man according to the beast system race classification, found a wife from his side of the family for his son Isaac. Since Abraham is a black man, his brother Nahor was also a black man. This should conclude his niece Rebecca is a black woman. As I stated earlier, the reason the Most High used bloodline to identify his people, all of his creation is dark and the people married their distant relatives. The reason you need to know what bloodline Rebecca came from, Jacob the patriarch to the Israelite nation, his wives, came from Rebekah's side of the family. And Isaac called Jacob, and blessed him, and charged him, and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Arise, go to Padan Aram, to the house of Bethuel thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence of the daughters of Laban thy mother's brother. Rachel and Leah are sisters. Their father Laban was Rebekah's brother. Both Rachel and Leah were black women. Six out of the twelve tribes came from Leah's womb. The sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulun. Rachel had two sons for Jacob. The sons of Rachel, Joseph and Benjamin. Both concubines had two sons for Jacob. And the sons of Billah, Rachel's handmaid, Dan and Naphtali, and the sons of Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, Gad and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, which were born to him in Padan Aram. The scriptures never reveal the name of the fathers to Jacob's concubines. I am sure they were indigenous women and closely related to Laban's family. Both Abraham and Isaac expressed that they did not want their sons to marry the Canaanite women. I am sure Jacob's concubines were distant or close relatives. Knowing that all four of the matriarchs of the Israelite nation were black women, how can a white Hispanic with a European father or European mother be an Israelite? The original Native Americans are a dark people. They are indigenous heathens. They are not Israelites. The scriptures inform us that the Most High would scatter the Israelites into nations our fathers have not known. I will scatter them also among the heathen, whom neither they nor their fathers have known. And I will send a sword after them, till I have consumed them. The Israelites are scattered in lands our ancestors did not know. The indigenous people of the Americas are native to their land. The native Indians cannot be Israelites. The Most High took the Levites for himself. Therefore, Levi's portion in the tribes was replaced with Joseph's sons. The Levites are Israelites, but they are not one of the tribes. The Levites belong to the Most High. And I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore the Levites shall be mine. The Satanic charts list Levi as a tribe. Joseph gained a double portion through his sons Ephraim and Manasseh. The mother to Joseph's sons descend from Ham's bloodline. The indigenous Mizraim descendants are a dark people. Israelites, you need to understand that the European species is not indigenous to any land on this earth. When you comprehend the truth, you will have a better understanding of the most highest creation. There are Israelites that were scattered into Hispanic nations. These individuals would look like an indigenous person. The Most High said he would scatter his people into all the nations of this world. How can the 12 tribe chart consist of nations in the Western atmosphere only? Our people were scattered in all the nations. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall scatter them among the nations and disperse them in the countries. Simeon and Levi have the same mother, Leah. Levi is black and Simeon is a mixed people. How could this be? 
The demonic charts exclude our people in Africa. Majority of Israelites are in Africa. The slave ships drop Israelites all over the world, not just in the Americas. The Most High said he would gather his people from all the nations of this world. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Paphros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The Israelites are dwelling in every nation for their own safety. There are too many red flags. Throw the whole chart away. The kingdom of darkness intention with the demonic chart is to bring confusion and to increase sin. The Most High is revealing truth in the awakening. I am glad to know there are many Israelites not falling for the satanic chart. The kingdom of darkness is sending its disciples to Africa to teach the Israelites living on the continent. If the chart were accurate, the disciples of Satan would not be going to Africa to seek followers after themselves. But I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. Satan's disciples exclude our people in the motherland. Now that the chart is proving false, they want to travel to Africa to spread the doctrines of devils. Israelites, do not focus on the chart and what tribe you come from. All of this is a distraction to steer you away from the Most High, in addition to give the spirit a lust and opportunity to forge a covenant. Do not fall for it. How can we heal and unite as a people if we keep inviting our enemies into our nation? We do not have to give our inheritance away to bring change. We can still be the salt of the earth and set an example for the heathens by living among the heathens. You do not need the support of the heathens to gain power and freedom in the physical realm. Our focus should be on repentance. When the time comes for the Most High to reveal where the hidden ones are, Yah will reveal it. If it were necessary to know what tribe you descend from, the Most High would have told you. It is the Most High that will rebuild our nation, not men. We need to learn the lessons the Most High wants to teach his people. Do not allow the doctrines of devils shift your focus from repenting. Keep your eyes on the Most High. Allow Yah to steer you in the direction you should go. Do not place your salvation in the hands of men. All of the 12 tribes of Israel are black and they will remain black until their redemption. Let the Most High be your teacher. By doing this, you will never be deceived by the doctrines of devils. And I will strengthen the house of Judah and I will save the house of Joseph. And I will bring them again to place them for I have mercy upon them. They shall be as though I had not cast them off, for I am the Lord their God, and will hear them. And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their heart shall rejoice as through wine. Yea, their children shall see it, and be glad. Their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. I will hiss for them, and gather them, for I have redeemed them, and they shall increase as they have increased. And I will sow them among the people, and they shall remember me in far countries. They shall live with their children and turn again.